students this is mrs jennifer de cruz from lilavati lalchigaya college of commerce and in today's class students we are going to study ocm chapter number 6 social responsibilities of business and students before starting with this chapter let me tell you all that the total weightage of this chapter is 10 marks with option and 7 marks without option so let us begin with this interesting chapter So, students, let us first understand the meaning of social responsibility. So, social responsibility of business implies the obligation of the management, okay, of a business enterprise to protect the interests of the society. So, in simple words, students, social responsibility means to work for the welfare of the society. Let us now come to the first answer of this chapter, and that is speaking about need for social responsibility. Okay, so to remember this answer, students, we have a code word which says C R P O P G L C. Okay, C R P O P G L C, wherein we have two C's and two G's, so it becomes C two R P O P G two L C. So let's begin. First one is concept of trusteeship. Okay. so trusteeship students is a socio economic policy okay it can be termed as you know it is like it provides a means by which the wealthy people okay they become trustees of the trust that look after the welfare of the business firm next one is changing expectations of society so students today society expects the business firm to be more responsible citizens okay to contribute towards the social welfare third reputation okay so a socially responsible company will enjoy good reputation which in turn will increase the productivity and profitability of the business fourth protection of environment okay so business firm should make proper use okay uh, of the resources that we have and you should they should avoid degradation of the environment next one students optimum utilization of resources so wastage of resources should be avoided six point pressure of trade union okay so trade union students are growing very fast and workers what happens they expect you know the management to provide fair wages bonus okay to the people so that is why there is a pressure on the trade union next one is growth of consumer movement okay so to avoid conflicts that is there okay the consumers that are there to avoid the conflicts that are there okay so the consumer movements the consumers are becoming you know little more active little more conscious okay they are aware of the rights of the powers that they have okay so business enterprises should follow consumer oriented policies if one is government control so student from the business point of view okay government regulations you know they are very undesirable why because they limit freedom okay so it uh, you know it uh, puts pressure on the business so there should be proper government control next one long term self interest okay so when uh, the workers that are there the consumers the shareholders okay when they feel that the business enterprise is not serving their interest they will you know tend to withdraw their cooperation from the business firm okay so uh, so in their own self interest okay what happens a firm will fulfill some social responsibilities last one complexities of social problem so students some social problems you know are created by the business firm themselves okay it can be pollution okay it can be unsafe working condition so business firm needs to solve these complexities of certain social problems that arises so with this we've completed the first answer that is need for social responsibility cr for glc c concept of trusteeship c changing expectations of society r reputation for protection of environment optimum utilization of resources and b pressure of trade union g to lc g growth of consumer movement then g government control lc long term self interest and the last one is complexities of social problem let us now move on to the next answer of this chapter students and that is talking about social responsibilities towards various interest groups and the first interest group that we are going to study today is social responsibilities towards the owners okay so first of all students who are the owners owners are the person who own the business okay they are responsible for the profits or losses they contribute the capital they bear the risk okay that is why 
certain responsibilities which we are we are going to study just now our responsibility towards owners okay so to remember this answer students we have a code word that is there again rio me fepe okay what is the r e o o m p e e f e p e c so r stands for reasonable profit okay so business form okay should earn reasonable profit to facilitate growth and expansion of business second exploring business opportunities so business okay should be very alert to find out opportunities for the growth and expansion of the business third optimum utilization of resources so the available resources that are there in students should be carefully used next one minimize wastage okay so the business for should maximize the profitability by minimizing wastage of money time manpower etc next one is efficient business okay so the scarce resources that are there students it should be utilized at the optimum level efficient use of the resources should be made okay up to the optimum level next one we have uh, efficient business okay which i told you the business scarce resources should be used efficiently the next six points talks about fair practices on stock exchange okay so all sorts of unfair trade practices like insider trading okay or uh, any other mal practices that happens in the uh, trade uh, stock exchange should be avoided next one expansion and diversification so business firms students should undertake r and d okay research and development okay for expansion of the business next one periodic information okay the owners okay should get complete accurate proper factual information from time to time next one effective use of the owners funds so students the owners fund you know it should be utilized in the best possible manner okay last one is creating goodwill the business enterprise should try to portray okay a good image of the company okay a good image should be formed and they should create the goodwill of the organization so your with this we completed the first responsibility that is responsibility towards owners so any of the responsibility students can be asked as, asked as a short more answer so you need to study all the responsibilities well so just to have a quick recap of what we studied just now responsibility towards owners rio me fepe rio reasonable profit exploring business opportunities optimum use of capital me minimize wastage efficient business fepe f c fair practices on stock exchange e expansion and diversification p periodic information e effective use of owners fund and the last one is creating goodwill let us now see the second responsibility that is responsibility towards the investors okay so investors that are there in students they provide finance to the company okay they are the creditors of the business and every business firm should fulfill okay, the following responsibilities towards owners okay so here in which is our six responsibilities first one the code word is pr hm p okay so pr hm p m p stands for proper conduct of meeting okay so the company student should call meetings of the investors provide information about the business okay so the meeting also should be conducted you know by giving proper notice to them and proper conduct of the meeting should take place second return on investment okay so the investors that are the student should get a fair return on the investment regularly in the form of interest third handling grievances okay so the company should handle the grievances of the investor okay if any the queries that the investors have also should be answered in a satisfactory manner fourth one transfer maintain transparency so students every business firm should maintain transparency high degree of transparency the management you know should uh, be very transparent in dealing with the investors next one proper disclosure of information so the management okay they should present the factual the true information to the investors to circulars to bulletins to reports etc last one maintain solvency and prestige the business for okay should always try to maintain the solvency and prestige of its organization okay so with this students we've completed social responsibilities towards investors and the four word here is proper conduct of the pr hm pm that is p stands for proper conduct of meeting r stands for return on investment 
X stands for handling grievances. Next one, M stands for maintaining transparencies. Next one is uh, P that stands for proper disclosure of information. And M stands for maintain solvency and prestige. Okay. So with the students, we've completed social responsibilities towards the investors. PR, HM, P. Let us now move on to the next social responsibilities. That is, uh, we've completed with investors. Let us now move on to the next social responsibilities. That is, responsibility towards the employees. Okay, so employed students are human resource to the organization. Okay, they must be treated with proper dignity and respect. So, in order to treat them with proper dignity and respect. We need to follow the following social responsibilities. So the code word to remember this answer is JFH Group B. Okay. JFH. J say job security. F fair remuneration. H health and safety measures. Group good working conditions, recognition of trade union, education and training, workers' participation in management. P M P2 is there, that is why two P's promotion and career opportunities proper grievance procedure and last one is miscellaneous okay all the other things that they should be provided with okay so let's begin with the first point j j stands for job security okay so security of the job students when there is security of job it provides mental peace okay and the employees also perform with full dedication and commitment if there is proper job security f fair remuneration so the business firm should pay attractive salaries to the employees also they need to pay certain incentives okay like bonus or some allowances that they can get third one health and safety measures okay so business firm should protect the health the hygiene factor of the employee okay it should provide canteen facility medical facility good sanitation facilities okay the machines that are there okay should also you know be properly maintained in order to avoid accidents next one is good working condition okay so the employees should be provided with good working conditions like proper lighting proper ventilation good infrastructure that is there next one is uh, recognition of trade union okay so in, uh, the employer who is there okay he should uh, he, rec he should be recognized with a proper a trade union okay there should be proper recognition given to the trade union Next one is education and training. Okay, the organization should educate the employees by giving them proper training, proper guidance. Next one, workers' participation in management. Okay, so the workers that are there, students should be encouraged to take part in the management by performing various. Uh, you know, they can form various workers' committee and they can become a part of the working of the business enterprise. Next one, promotion and career opportunities. So here in students, the business should provide opportunities for promotion, okay, for the talented people that are the talented employees. So what will happen because of this year, they will feel motivated and they will perform better. Next one, proper grievance procedure, okay. So there must be a proper grievance procedure to handle. Employees, complaint, queries must be taken care of very, very properly. Last one, miscellaneous, okay. So miscellaneous may all the other things that an employee requires is, you know, proper management employer relationship. There should be a good relationship between the employer and the employee, okay. Healthy environment, peace and stability should be there, okay. So with this, we've completed social responsibilities towards the employees. Let us now have a quick recap on the social responsibilities of the employee. And we are in students, we have the code word JFH grew P2F. Okay, what is JFH? J stands for job security, F fair remuneration, H health and safety measures, G good working condition, R recognition of trade union, E education and training, W workers participation in management, P promotion and career opportunities, P proper grievance procedure, and the last one is miscellaneous. So to remember this, students, you have a code word JFH group P2F. Let us now move on to the next social responsibility. That is social responsibility towards the consumers. Now, very important, it is said that the consumers are the king of the organization. Okay, the consumers that are there, they you know. They are really 
very very important and integral part of every business okay so the consumer who's the king of the market okay but in reality the experience is different it is said business cannot work okay without the consumer the survival the growth of the business it depends on the consumer satisfaction service and support okay so in order to uh, you know the commercial organization should win the confidence of the customers okay so let's see what social responsibility the uh, organization needs to follow towards the consumers okay so here in students we have g f okay c h a r r a t a g f charata okay so g stands for good quality product okay so here in students the organization must produce quality goods okay inferior substantial uh, substandard goods okay should be rejected next one fair prices okay so the consumers should not be cheated okay by charging high prices fair prices should be quoted on the goods third one customer safety okay so your students the business must ensure that the product supplied is not will not adversely affect the life the health of the consumers next one is honest advertising okay the organization must ensure proper honest advertising okay they should not uh, you know show them misleading false advertisement that is there next one is uh, we have after sale services so the organization should provide after sale services okay to the consumers in case if the product has certain problem after it is purchased so they must provide after sale services as well next one research and development the organization should conduct r and d okay for improving the quality of the product okay for reducing the cost of production next one regular supply the consumers okay should you know supply the goods regularly okay as and when it is required by the consumers next one is attend complaints the consumers complaints must be attended very immediately next one training okay the business organization should arrange training for the consumers okay all the time every time next one avoid customers exploitation so business firm should avoid unfair trade practices which leads to customer exploitation okay so with this we've completed responsibility towards consumers and the core word here it is gf charata gf stands for good quality product f stands for fair prices c stands for customer safety next one h honest advertising a after sale services r research and development r regular supply a attend complaints t training a avoid customer exploitation let us now move to the next social responsibility which is talking about social responsibility towards the government okay now students the government it regulates and controls the business activity with the objective of systematic economic development okay so if uh, you know the country wants to safeguard the interest of the common man okay there should be proper systematic you know responsibility of the government that is the need, that is to be there government provides incentive subsidies to the business so let's see what are the responsibilities of the organization towards the government so your in students we have a over to is nc okay nice to is nice so t t stands for timely payment of taxes okay so your the business firm should pay timely payment of taxes okay from time to time second observing rules and regulations so the rules that are framed by the government should be complied with okay they should conduct business in the lawful manner that is there okay okay so the second point students is talking about observing government rules and regulations okay so the rules framed by the government should be complied with okay they should uh, conduct the business in the lawful manner okay third one is earning foreign exchange so government students it expects from the business organization to earn a good foreign exchange okay by exporting the goods next one we have economic development okay so the government sets the target for the rapid economic development economic growth 
Next one is implementing socio-economic policy. Okay, so your students, the government, that is there, it expects the cooperation, the help from the business enterprise to, in, you know, imply good socio-economic policies. Okay, the implementation, the framing of good socio-economic policies. Sixth one, suggestions to the government. The business organization students to provide should provide suggestions to the government before framing the policies. Next one is no favors. The business firm should not take any favors from the government officials, okay? Like bribing and all. Next one is contributing to government treasury. The business organization must contribute to the funds of the government during actual calamities and contribute to the government treasury. So your in students, we have the answer that the social responsibilities towards the government. To is nice. T stands for time to payment of taxes. O, observing rules and regulations. E, earning foreign exchange. E, economic development. I, implementing socioeconomic policies. S, suggestions to the government. N, no favors. And C, contributing to government treasury. Let us now move on to the next answer of this chapter. And that is social responsibilities that is towards the society, the community, the public that is there, okay? So your students, the business organization, okay? It's uh, the business organization, what happens students? They sometimes, so students, the next one is social responsibilities towards the society. So your students, the business organization has certain responsibilities, okay? towards the society at large. So let us see what responsibilities it has. So the code word here is PPR, -E -E. Now what is PPR? P stands for protection of environment. B, better and maximum use of resources. R, reservation for the weaker section. D stands for development of backward regions. P, protest against the antisocial activities. F, financial assistance, P, prevent congestions, E, employment generation. So let us understand each one in detail. First one is protection of environment. So business organization students should take care, okay, should take all the possible measures in order to minimize the pollution that is there. Next one, better and maximum use of resources. So business organization should make proper and optimum use of scarce resources that are there. Next one, reservation for weaker section. So your students, okay, something, you know, the organization is expected to reserve certain position in their establishment for the economically weaker sections of the society. Next one is development of backward regions. So business organization should be started in backward areas okay, in order to increase employment opportunities. Next one is protest against anti-social activities. So business organization students should not be a part of anti-social activities. It will adversely affect the society. Next one is financial assistance. The business organization should provide financial assistance to various awareness programs that come in. Next one is prevent congestions. So business organization should avoid congestions, okay? Or, you know, um, in any way, okay? Or in any way, the congestion should be avoided. Next one, employment generation. The business firm should, you know, provide large-scale employment opportunities to the people. So you're in the district completed social responsibilities towards the society and public in general. So the code word is PBR. PP, FPE, PBR, what is PBR? Protection of environment, better and maximum use of resources, R, preservation for weaker section. D, development of backward region, P, protest against antisocial activities, FPE stands for financial assistance, prevent congestions, employment generation. Let us now come to the next part, the last part of this answer, and that talks about And it talks about the CSR. What is CSR students? Corporate social responsibility. Okay. So corporate social responsibility, which is known as CSR, is self-regulating business model, which aims to contribute to societal goals or support volunteering or ethically oriented practices. Okay. It makes a company socially responsible and accountable. 
Okay, so it is a responsibility, the social responsibility to of the corporates that is CSR. With this, students we completed social responsibilities towards business. Thank you.